What's up guys, Chasing Lamely here with episode 173 of Welcome to Roxmad. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're having an FA Cup replay against Coventry City, who are in the championship to try and get to the next room. It, it's gone wrong. It's gone wrong. Anyway, like, subscribe, ring the bell. I'm there. See you on the other side. <laughs> So, since we last met, we've been back in league action. We beat Bournemouth 2-1 in the Premier League away from home at Eddie Howell Park. Uh, Emre Tejka and Matan Almala Al are the goal scorers in that one. Or were the goal scorers in that one. I'll get English right eventually. Uh, then we play Leeds Allen Road. A 3-2 win. Goals from Jakob Back, Emre Tejka and Andrea Marcato to bring us up to date for today's replay. However, there is big news in the league because of these wins that we've been racking up fairly consistently. We are, in fact, when it finally shows the elite table, sitting in second in the table, level on points. We've got an exact matching record with West Ham at the top of the table. There are four teams on 54 points. Uh, it's us and, and West Ham. Won 16, drawn 6, lost 4. They've scored three more goals than us, but they've also conceded three more goals than us. That's why they're above us in the table. But, otherwise, very, very even. Obviously, Liverpool have played one game more than us, which is why they sit behind us. As well, obviously, as the goal difference. The same as Spurs, also with a game, one more game than us played. Chelsea are fifth with 53 points, and Manchester City are sixth with 52 points. There's two points separating the top six in the Premier League at the end of February. It couldn't be closer. When we get back to Premier League action in the next episode, probably, we're going to have a lot to talk about. But without any further ado, let's go see the team for today's game against Coventry, because that's definitely far more important. So we're not fully full strength today, because, frankly... It's still Coventry. We are much stronger than we were in the first game. We've got Ankovic in goal. We've got Gamchev out right back. Carlotto, Grio, and Andre make up the rest of the defence. We've got Asaya, Emery, Christiansen and Nielsen in central midfield. Our two Norwegian stars. We've got Jakob back playing on the right wing because he's been asking for more football, as we can see here. But he's also been playing very well when we've used him, so he could possibly... That star rating might not necessarily reflect his actual ability. We'll keep an eye on that. I'm slowly learning that John Brain might be better than his star rating as well. Because he's been very, very consistent. Jorge Moraes, the captain today, starts on the left wing. And we have got Gary Dillon up top on the bench. We're going with McGonagall, Taylor, Cohen, Suleiman, Ricardo, Manuzzi, Bish, Hashisha and Price. So, not... Full, full strength, although we could have thrown a few more players in there just to strengthen things up. But I also am very cognizant of the fact that I want to try and keep everyone's match load as light as I possibly can at this stage in the season with the title on the line. So, let's get into the game and see if we can get ourselves a good old win today. So, into the question room then, and I think we're going to show everyone their praises justified, yada, 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 put on a good show, all that good stuff. Okay, people seem happy, but it is time to do a pointy finger, strong defence, get it right, because today, we very much need to make sure we get everything we can get right, right. So, out of the restroom, and off the field, let's get this nailed down. We are looking okay, I think. For a results day would be my guess. Um, whilst we're waiting for the match to start, by the way, a little cheap plug in uh, in the journey. The other series on the channel, we've just joined Gresford Athletic in the Welsh League. If you want to jump on board, now is a pretty good time to be doing that. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 a.m. that goes up. So get involved with that. Anyway, we're underway here at Coventry. Let's get ourselves the result we all desperately know we need. Anchorage stepping up already with a goal kick. Big hoof of the field, going to win it in the air. We are Dylan Norton it down to Nielsen. Nielsen fires Moraes. Moraes with a run across field. Back, back into Christiansen, who dice once again, or dice once again, I should say, is uh, doing wonders in goal. I might have a little scout at him, because he might actually be pretty good. Moraes with a corner, headed away. Flowers heads it clear, and that is the end of that highlight. Sire Emery now on the ball to Christiansen to back. 
back to his back to Carlotto. Zaire Emery again with ball forward to Nielsen. Nielsen trying to find a man. Finds Ganchep. Hasn't really had a chance to do anything so far in this game. Finds back though. Ball forward. Dylan picks up a really rubbish clearance from Flowers. And Gary Dylan is more than happy to put those away all day. I don't know what Flowers was thinking there. I don't much care because we're in the lead to be honest. But Ganchev here with a run. Plays the ball forward to back. Back goes across goal. I mean, Flowers fires it into Bayroom and Dylan's just there to tap it home. Happy days. Gary Dylan on the score sheet. And it's 1-0. Free kick now for Coventry and it's being taken by Kusene who was very, very good in the first game, it's got to be said. Pass to Carlos on the ground, but Nielsen picks the ball up, having a run. Can Nielsen score here? I and mean, he dives with another great save. And sorry, Nielsen is a very, very good since we signed him. For a wonder kid, looks like he's got potential. Dylan now stepping up to take the corner into the box. Anyone on the end of it? Looks like Carlotto heads over the bar. And, well, a chance goes begging. But we are still in the lead, so we can afford to play out all the way as Chris Jansen gets a free kick to Ganchev. Back to Chris Jansen. And he goes forward looking for Marais. Marais with a beautiful little uh, flick across goal. Dylan picks it up, shoots, misses, shoots again. Nothing comes to me. Chris Jansen has gone down. It's not going to be a penalty, unfortunately. And Ganchev to Chris Jansen now with a throw in to Carlotto. We are looking like we're starting to get fired up. We're finding our, uh, finding our rhythm. Back then loses the ball to Conan. Conan across the box. And Dice with a very good clearance, honestly, because Dylan was probably going to go in there and steal another one. Anderson now trying to run at us. Can we get this ball back? Airy forward to Marsh. Marsh taking his time. Finds Chris Sene, who has been dangerous on the left, as I said in that first game. I'd like him to maybe not do that again. Kernan with a run into the box. And Ankovic this time doing the great goalkeeping. It's going to be a corner for Coventry. And we're not even going to see it. Marais now with a corner into the box. We're going to win in the air. We're not going to win in the air. But it is going to be a penalty. Dylan getting pushed by Airy. Who's stepping up to take it? It's Sayer Emery stepping up for it. And can he get something done here? He does put it away. Warren Sayer Emery with a second goal for us. And 2-0 is certainly looking pretty safe for the next round of the FA Cup. I'm going to drop the praise on the boys now. Because they need to hear it about... 10, 11 minutes to go until half time. And we are very much in the driver's seat here. And I'm very much liking this performance. I picked a few of these players because guys like Nielsen, Ganchev, and Dylan are very much big. And Andre are very much big potential wonder kids. But I would like to get some game time in. And putting in a good performance like today could only really help them out. So that's half time. And I think the XG match story says it all in that. Halfway through the first half was the first time that Coventry even looked slightly threatening. Uh, we are going to do a, we're ahead on the scoreboard and deserve to be. That's what we're going to do, go with, just keep it simple, light and happy. And hopefully they'll go out and do more of the same in the second half for us. Throw in now with Ganchev going to Christiansen, back to Ganchev. Can he get an assist to his name? Not with passing like that, he can't. Anderson gets it clear. And now Conan is going to run at us. Cross the field. Marsh. Grio gets a footing though. Nielsen forward to Marais. Marais turning his man. What can he do here? Marais goes back to Andre. Andre taking his sweet, sweet time. Going forward now. Chris Jansen. Chris Jansen having a pop from range and it's gone over at Dice. Not troubled that time, but honestly, he probably would have had it covered. He's been very, very good. Gavchev with a throw to Chris Jansen again. Can Chris Jansen produce a moment of magic for us? Carlotto now. Ball forward back to Chris Jansen to Dylan. Dylan turns. Has a pop from Rafe Dice. Had that one coming as well. And I I have already told my scouts to have a look at that fella. Because I think he's probably got some sneaky potential hiding somewhere. That we might want to take advantage of. And uh, well, we just keep marching forward. Carlotto now with the ball. I was just looking at the match story. We are ahead the entire game. Chris Jansen to back now. With a chance to make an impression. Back to Chris Jansen. Chris Jansen inside looking for Dylan. Dylan, will he have another pop? Does have a... Oh, that was cheeky. That was a... I thought he was going to fire that one at the... Uh, as hard as he could at the back of the net. He just dinged it under the keeper. That was beautiful stuff. That was great stuff. See here, Chris Jansen with the ball into Dylan. Thinks about popping it. And then just has a little tiny tap. Dice obviously thought it was going to be a bit of a smash too. And Dylan's just had a cheeky little tap under him. 
for a second goal, it's 3 0. Corner, Airy to take it for Coventry into the box, looking for Flowers, but Grio heads it away. Back to Airy. Are we going to get this one clear? I'm going to go. Dylan gets in to stop it, break it down. Say Carlos now on the ball for Coventry. Forward to Sang. Sang looking for a cross here, finds one. Can we in the air? We have one in the air with Carlotto. Back now on the ball, puts it forward. Say Carlos again. A bit wayward. There were other options, and now Sang having another go at us. Round the outside, he'll be looking for a cross. Goes back to Hudson. Hudson with a cross. And, uh, well, deflections all around. Airy picks the ball back up into the box. Airy with a pop. And, well, we've conceded there. We really shouldn't have done. We've got a little bit complacent. And there's little tired legs on the pitch. So it does make it a little bit questionable. Don't really know how that happened. I mean, there was some... There was a deflection there. But, friendly, the mistake here was that Chris Johnson should never be the man tracking back there. I'm not sure what back was doing. He probably could have been helping out in defence. And a little bit more there and wasn't, but I'm not going to hold it against anyone. It is still 3-1. Dice now with the ball. Forward to Florida. I was just thinking about making a final sub. I've made three. I've sent one. Sorry, four. I've sent four, three defenders in. Add Manutzi. We've got McGonagall at right back now. Colin in the middle and Salim in a left back because it is time to get the Syria a debut pro or proper run out at least. Uh, we've got Manutzi in central midfield as well just because I want him to finally understand what winning a game feels like although we're doing our best to throw it away and i'm thinking of how i use that final sub because uh, i want to get someone else into the game carlotto now with a free kick five minutes of injury time left to do chris chancellor i've just sent her shisha on on the left wing because i was aware that mirage was not fully fit so uh, we thought we'd give him a little bit of a break as conan makes a run forward finds her shisha her shisha turns his man Finds Siamri now, ball over the top, looking for back. Back likes a goal. Back will have a pop here. He does off the crossbar and hits Marco Manuzzi with his first goal for the club. And uh, well, that's uh, that's repaid me sending on as a sub. Quite frankly, I uh, I just want him to kind of hold his own out there. But if he's going to score, all the better for us. Back rifles off the crossbar and Manuzzi gets the right side of Antonio to puts it into the net. And, uh, well, Manuzzi off the mark now for Roxham. As Sang puts a ball across field. Still in injury time, of course. Flitney running at us. Can we get across and maybe get something or stop him scoring? He's got plastic hair. We've got to stop him scoring. Salimon gets it clear back now. Not going to be a counter attack. I think we're just going to see this one out nice and comfortably. We can relax a little bit. There we go. That's the full time whistle. Unfortunately, Gary Dillon didn't get his hat trick. But you know what? 4-1. We can't get greedy. We've seen Marco Manuzzi get the Italian one that did get his first goal for the club. Nice work, everyone. That was good. I feel pretty strong about that. I am going to do a little uh, talk with Gary Dillon just to make sure he knows that he was very, very good. And he looks delighted. Good stuff. Right, so we do know that we're playing in the next round of the FA Cup. I just can't remember. So we'll find out again in a second. Ah, oh, Swindon got knocked out. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. But it's all okay. It'll be fine. Our old boy Abdullah Etiam is starring in the Champions League today as well. That's a fun thing. Right. Let's have a look. So crowded. Uh, we've got Derby in the next round. I, I think we'll just see how that goes. We're not going to come back for the Derby game. We should be able to beat Derby. They're a championship side. They should be beatable. We'll stick out our first team against them, of course, so it'll be fine. Uh, we're going to come back for whoever we're playing in the Europa League round. We still have no idea because the Europa League is just playing the uh, the knockout playoff round games now, which is tomorrow in game. I'm going to keep it a surprise. It could be any one of these 16 teams. Uh, I'm going to say Salonika are probably through. Shakhtar are through. Sofia are probably through. Kilmarnock are giving Sevilla a good game. Groningen could be in there. St. Gallen are probably through. Red Bull Leipzig losing to Sparta. Prague is a surprise. And Nantes are definitely through. So there are some options there. We'll see how it goes. We'll find out on Monday. So join us then for that. And we will be all having a party in Europe. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Have it always been chasing lately. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Until next time, though, stay safe and uh. Have a good night.